Good morning, gang. Happy Wednesday morning. Okay, reminder before we get into anything, today is October 4th. Today is the day for that emergency alert system. It's supposed to happen, I think it's at 222 Eastern Time, so 1122 Pacific. Figure out your time zone in between. Uh, this is going to affect everything. It's going to be televisions, computers, tablets, phones, whatever. So, again, we don't know what this could be completely innocent and just a test. Okay, But like I said last night, like I've said a couple of times before, who trusts this government? Something's always nefarious in there. So, plan accordingly as you see fit. All right, other one, as you guys all know, we talked again about last night, was <clears throat> Kevin McCarthy being out. Apparently, Donald Trump was nominated yesterday by a couple of senator or a couple of congressmen, I'm sorry, to uh, be the new Speaker of the House. <laughs> so we'll see what happens there. That ought to be a good clown show to watch here for the next few days or so. But that's not what we're going to talk about. It's no secret that the way the globalists want to get rid of everything is make it too expensive for us to purchase it. Food, okay, power, you know, whatever. Oh, let, let's make food so, beef so expensive that people will start voluntarily eating bugs because that's all they can afford, right? Or <clears throat> let's give subsidies to Electric power, because we don't want to use the coal plants, even though, like I told you, there's a battery plant that needs needs its own independent coal plant to operate to make batteries, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's go into the latest one, vehicles, all right? Now, besides the fact that Pete Buttigieg is coming out and saying all cars are bad, he wants to get rid of all cars, gas and electric, Okay because vehicles have wreaked havoc on the environment and communities. You know, pothole Pete here, uh, you know, say what you will about him, he's a moron. But many times I have mentioned to you guys, watch what happens in Europe and wait till it comes to the United States. For all those of you that own an electric vehicle, which I figure on this channel is probably next to nobody, okay, you might want to start paying attention to your insurance costs. Okay, Now, <clears throat> how many of you have got your insurance renewal lately? I mean, three months, six months, 12 months, however long you have your automobile insurance. Right? I know personally for me, I got our bill here a couple of weeks ago. It went up 10 bucks a month, Okay, which is the tune of about 8%. Okay, that's inflation. That's more than it should be, but that's what happened. Have I had any tickets? No. Have I had any accidents? No. I mean, I haven't, with the exception of somebody hitting me a couple of years ago and doing minor damage to my bumper that their insurance paid out, I haven't had an insurance claim or a ticket or anything like that in 12 years, 10, 11 years, something like that. Okay. Yeah. So certainly hasn't been because of my driving that my insurance went up. So what's the reason the insurance is going up? Well, we have to pay for, somehow they have to pay for all the other insurance claims. <clears throat> oh, I don't know, that could be car theft, carjacking, right, Henry Cuellar? Uh, You know, that insurance companies have to pay out. You know, they've got to get that money back from somewhere, so they jack up the premiums on everybody. Like I said, watch what happens in Europe. Wait till it comes here. I want to give you this, and I'll link the story below. Electric vehicle owners in Great Britain, <clears throat> you know, saving the planet, doing what they can, you know, spending an ungodly amount of money on a car that will last a third of the time as the equivalent gasoline-powered car until you have to replace the powertrain, i.e. the batteries, at pretty much the same cost of what the car is worth. Yeah, so creating more junk and more toxic chemicals, but you know, hey, we, we're only here for the here and now. We can't think until tomorrow. So what are they trying to do in Europe? Or what are they, what are they not trying, but actually doing? <clears throat> they have made the cost to insure an EV 
so ridiculously expensive that people have now gone and spent their sixty, seventy thousand dollars on a shoebox with wheels that's run by batteries that people can't afford to drive their car. What am I saying? Like I said, I'll link this below. Story on a guy who had his car insurance <clears throat> hiked from 1,200 pounds, which is eh, probably about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars $1,400. So even then, he's paying 100 bucks, a 100 bucks a month in insurance to 5,000 pounds, which is $6,000 to $500 a month in insurance. Can you imagine paying $500 a month to insure one car? I can't, okay? Now, maybe if I owned a <clears throat> Maserati or something like that, okay, fine. But, you know, my insurance now costs me for full coverage on two vehicles $163 a month, okay? I still think that's highway robbery, insurance companies. I don't care whether you're talking about car insurance, house insurance, annuities, whatever. Insurance is still the biggest scam known to man, okay? But it has its point, you know, in that one time that you need it, but like I said, I haven't had any, God, I can't even remember the last time I had an insurance claim. Yet they still get that check every month, you know, so all I do is feed the bottom line for the insurance company, well, probably like most people. Will it be there one day in case I need it? Yeah, okay. But the way I look at it, if I would have put $160 a month in the uh, bank account, in a savings account or whatever it is, for the last God knows how many years, I probably have enough to buy a new car anyway. Okay, so, yes. So, they went through and looked, just talking to people around the UK about this. This wasn't just this one guy. There's a Facebook group <clears throat> where people have talked about their insurance premiums going up anywhere from 60 to 940%. Okay. One person talking about their insurance going from 447 pounds a year to 4,661 pounds a year. Okay, nearly a tenfold increase. Think about that for a second. They want you to drive it, they want you to buy an EV because, hey, we've subsidized these EVs so much. And now we're going to make it not only hard enough to charge, I mean, hey, I could probably charge it somewhere around the house here, right? If I spent the money to get a new EV charging station put in my house, because it's not like you can just plug it in the wall. And then anywhere around me, there isn't a charging station. Probably Knoxville would be the nearest charging station. And God forbid, if I go north, then I got to go that much further south to charge. It's not like Walmart says, yeah, come on in and plug your car in while you're shopping. Okay. <clears throat> At least not around here. So they're trying to get us away from driving. Why are there no charging stations around here? They don't want people to live in the areas that I live. They want us all to funnel into the cities. Like Pete Buttigieg says, cars are terrible. Cars are bad. We need to get rid of all the cars. Well, you can't come up with a public transportation system that wouldn't cost billions upon billions of dollars that would never make its money back. I mean, what are they going to do, get a bus system from me to Knoxville? You know, nearly an hour's drive. How many? And the bus is going to come every 15 minutes. Great, that means you'd need eight of them because <clears throat> they got to go back and forth for the bus to come every 15 minutes. To get what? One person on the bus? Maybe. Okay. Not, you know, or then they'll say, well, we run the bus one time a day. Great. You know what? I need to go to my doctor's appointment that's at 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, the only bus runs at 6. So I'll catch the 6 o'clock bus and I'll wait four hours for my doctor's appointment. And then the only bus that comes back again is at 6 o'clock at night because that's when we want to take the people home from work. So I can sit around and wait another six hours till my bus come, can take me home. That's literally what they got going on. That's that's how they're going to try to get us out of the country, the suburbs, whatever it would be, and focus us all in the city. They're going to make it as ridiculously expensive as possible. 
Because mind you, you go, well, I just won't buy insurance. Okay. Every state in the country requires you to have car insurance before you can register your car. If you don't have insurance, you get a healthy ticket. Okay. And trust me, you know, they don't need to catch you and pull you over. It's now attached in most states to your license plate. And all the cop has to do is sit on the side of the road, take a picture of your license plate, and the computer goes insured, 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 not insured. Woo, lights behind you. Okay. That's, this is another way that they are going to try to stop us. Plan on this. You know, when you get your insurance bill, start shopping your insurance. If your insurance premiums are too high, start calling around and saying, okay, and then ask the, ask the insurance agent, what are your plans for auto insurance? Why are rates going up? And I'll bet you, if he's honest, he will say, well, you know what? We have a whole lot of car thefts from the illegals coming over. We have a whole lot of carjackings from the soft on crime policies. You know, again, we start looking at all the negatives that come out of the policies that are implemented by the World Economic Forum globalist Democrats that are destroying life, not only in America, but in the Western world. But then again, if you go back and look at the eight principles of the World Economic Forum, one of them is to destroy the principles of the Western world and make everybody live under more Eastern principles. But if you don't know what the difference are, Western principles are a lot more of you're an individual. Eastern principles are you're more of a collective. Hmm. What does that sound like? Communism. <laughs>